In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a set and a project and how to fill the audio pool with samples. We will be starting from scratch with an empty compact flashcard. First, let's take a look at the structure of the Octatrack. A set is the top level structure of the Octatrack. It can contain a near unlimited amount of projects plus one audio pool. The amount of samples in the audio pool, as well as the amount of projects, are limited only by the size of the compact flashcard. A project contains all pattern data, information about how samples are allocated, which effects are in use, all parameter settings and so on. A project can basically be regarded as a collection of compositions. The samples in the audio pool are available to all the projects of a set. First of all, we need to create a set. As we are using a blank compact flashcard, this little information window will pop up. Press yes to close it. A menu where a set can be created will automatically be opened. Press yes and the naming menu will appear. Here's a nice little trick. If you hold down the function key, you can navigate between the characters using the arrow keys. When you're finished naming the set, press yes to create it. At the same time, an audio pool for the set would automatically be created. Now it's time to fill the audio pool with samples. Make sure the Octatrack is connected to a computer via USB. Open the project menu and navigate to USB disk mode. Press yes to initiate the USB connection. This will make the compact flashcard appear as an external storage device to your computer. These folders are full of samples. Drag and drop them to the folder called Audio, which is the audio pool of the set. Then eject the Octatrack from the computer. Next, let's create a project. Navigate to this menu and open it. Press Yes. The naming window will appear here as well. If you press Function and No, you can quickly erase characters. Press yes to create the project. It'll be loaded automatically. At the top of the screen, you can now see the names of the loaded set and project. We now have a set containing an audio pool filled with samples, and we also have a project. We are now ready to start making music with the Octatrack. <laughs> 